are you doing? You're teasing me? No. Hello and welcome to Crazy Hank TV, our crazy life. Our crazy life. Welcome, everybody. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How about I just, you? I haven't seen you in like two days. I know. It's been great. <laughs> I'm kidding. I've baby, been babysitting our granddaughter. Uh, and I've been working my new job. Well, I think Sarah asked something about how is it, how is it being different between being a working grandparent and non-working grandparent. And we have the answer. <laughs> I'm not working, so I'm taking care of the grandkids, and, yes, and you're working. I am working. It's not by choice. Not by choice. Unfortunately, uh, you know, not in the position yet to re for me to retire. And no. For both of us to retire. But uh, I'm enjoying it. I got a new nobody, job. Nobody wanted me. So. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's But, uh, you know, it's nice to uh, start a second career at 58, almost 59. I know. And uh, I'm excited. I enjoy doing it. But I do, I, I do miss... I try to race home to come see the grandchildren because... Unfortunately, I had to, we, well, we both worked the whole time raising our kids, so I didn't want to have to do that for, with our grandchildren. Oof, I look tired. But, uh, Ooh, anyway. I look tired. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's working out, I guess. Do you, how does it feel to you? Well, I get it, I get up, I get up early, because you, when you, when you watch them, you get up, like, if they're going to be here at 6.30, you get right. up at 6.29. Exactly. I try, why, why get up any earlier? I, why? I try to get up, I get up at 6.20. Every day, she doesn't get in like six forty, six forty. I like to be awake. I like to be, you know, get settled in, get my <laughs> stuff in gear. I don't like to have to rush around and be unorganized. I'm not rushed because I knew if I get up at six twenty nine, I know she probably wouldn't get here till like six forty. So I'm ten minutes. I don't need twenty minutes to get ready for my grandchildren to come in the door. I like to have a fresh look on my face. Like I saw a fresh look, but no, I watch her from six forty forty five to four. It's a long day. It is a long day. It's like having it's like having kids of your own. But it's great. It's fun. She's no longer colic. I, we didn't no, tell her gosh. If, if she was still colic. There's no way I could, couldn't do it. No, I, I don't think. I don't think I couldn't could. do the ten no. hours. But as of now, we're doing it, and we'll see. How She's that hilarious, goes. though. She is funny. She's got a great sense. And of then on Thursday, she I, watches The Office with me. Yes, she does. And supposedly, she laughs. Oh, Ava she, laughs during the office. She laughs. Okay. She laughs. Um, and then. Um, and then you're going to have on Thursday, you're going to have two kids, but I'm going to get off at two, so won't be yeah, too bad. Yeah, two, I'll have Alex. I don't know how you, I hope you get well, to it. Alex is pretty easy going. He is pretty easy, easy going, yeah. so it should be fun. And Alex takes good, two, does take two good, and two a, hour and a good shot of bourbon. We'll let them sleep for four or five hours. <laughs> I'm kidding, of That's course. That's not don't, true. Don't call social services. You don't do uh, that. But we did have some exciting news today. We do! Um, we're not doing this anymore. No, we're going to be grandparents to a fourth grandchild. Our fourth one, yes. Woo! Our youngest one is pregnant. Our, my baby is having a baby. Yes, so it's kind of weird that she's having a baby. The only thing I ask, I, 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 I'm hoping she has a girl, and I, I, I ask God this, just let me live until the child is 13. That's all I'm asking. Because you want to you see because her. Because I want to see if the child, I'm with you. If, the, if she's anything like she, our daughter when she was 13. She's starting at 11, though. Well, eleven and a half, twelve. I thought it was like twelve, was it? Because she, okay. she was like a complete. Oh eight. my god, she was. And for parents out there, I'm gonna tell you right now. I think it's always remember little kids, little problems, big kids, big problems. Our youngest child, our sweet little girl, who's 27, almost 28, was the easiest <laughs> of all three. The easiest to go to sleep. Now the two older ones said you didn't, you just didn't pay attention to her. She was evil. She wasn't evil no. to us, so that's all. Oh I my god, about. she was the sweetest, loving. Oh my gosh, just a always little hugs, angel. Always, always. Oh, perfect She job. hit 12 and it's like, get away from me. It's like something. She like peed, like green, green soup out of her <laughs> she mouth. She was, she, was, she was possessed. Um, but I knew she, you know, it was, you know, we all know what it was like being a teen teenager or we try to remember or not remember what it was like. It's, it's difficult times, you know, even for, what is with my bangs? Even with, um, even with guys, I think they still have issues when they go through those years um but we survived it we survived and it and about um, was about three years ago well no no let's rephrase it she survived it she did because <laughs> there was many times i thought i would get arrested for killing her and i me also yeah yeah but she survived she's a phenomenal uh young woman and now yeah, she's, she's having a baby and we are so hoping she has a girl and we're so hoping to make it to the little girl's 13 so that we can sit back and watch gonna, that whole ha, scene. Ha, ha. We'll get some popcorn. But you know what? Her husband. He's so mellow. Oh, my God. So I bet he'll be like He'll be like This him. is him angry. I'm upset. Yeah, I'm very I'm upset. upset. I'm very angry. I'm angry. What? I'm upset. <laughs> now, he, he says he's not that way. But really? He's out. He's oh, I don't think. I, They're a perfect balance. Oh, they are. He's very mellow. He's, uh, he's very mellow. She's very all over the place. But she's. Well, she's you. She's a lot like 
him. She's got, uh, oh my gosh. She, gets, she has your temper. Oh my gosh, she has she your has temper. Your unreasonableness. She has your unreasonableness. I'm sorry, babe. She's, come on. You have to admit, she's you. Okay, whatever. I'm not, I don't want to get an argument here <laughs> on YouTube because, you know, people are like, oh, we'll be like the Jerry Springer show. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. But anyway, we, we are not very, we are a very blessed couple. We have three phenomenal. It, has been, it hasn't been a rough two years, but there's been the grandkids mixed in between. And Right. We both I, lost parents. But it's almost, um, it's almost like, it's like, hey, you guys need to stop. Because it, it's going to be like the Dugers. We're going to have like 19 grandkids and counting. And I don't, I don't know if we can handle we're that. We're not going to have 19 grandchildren. We've been trying we'll to be lucky we have six. We've been, try, we've been trying to predict how many we're going to have. We've been doing that since... Yeah, but I really... I, I, I figured, okay, I think each one's going to... Each couple's going to have two... You, yeah. you think two each? Two, so it'd be six, so six, six total. Oh, I'm most I would like to have ten. I'm, I'm fine with six. Your mom has ten. Does she have like ten grandchildren? Your I, mom and dad did? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Tim has five. five we have eight, three. Ten, and yeah, ten. ten. Ten grandkids. Yeah. And now my mom has how many great grandkids? This one, will two, be three, her. Well, two. Two from one. Four, Jay, four. Heather, five. Her six. Six grandkids. Six great grandchildren. Wow. That's amazing. Man. Didn't think she'd make it. She could have like, if each one of her ten grandchildren had two kids each, she could have twenty, 20 great grandchildren. Twenty. I hope I'm allowed to be a great grandma. I'm just happy to be a grandma. I don't know why I even think beyond that. <laughs> I want to be a great grandma. But no, that's our exciting news. Yes, it was, and we're very excited. Uh, well, I kind of blew it a little bit. But she kind of got mad at me. I she disowned me because I thought. <laughs> well, she sent me the message. <laughs> yes. I'm disowning mom. I go. Okay. So I'm trying to think what did I do. Well, first of all, it was their anniversary yesterday, so I remember. Okay, I text her happy anniversary. Everybody wished them happy anniversary. I Facebook happy, so it couldn't have been that. Two and years I said, of and I said, I I didn't know what I did. And she goes, if you don't know, that's sad. And I couldn't remember what I did. And then I realized she announced the pregnancy, and I was I thought I was giving I don't know I thought I was giving her a day so she could, you know, have her moment. Because you never know, you never know what you Facebook is supposed yes. to do because there's so many different rules and people live by so many different. It's like, okay, because sometimes if you post too fast, they're like, why didn't you give me my glory? Right. You, you, you uh, right. bogarted my, my, my thing there. And then so you never know because everyone's different. Everyone has a different set of rules. So you right. never know what to do. So right. I don't do anything. But then I guess she, you said, I was giving you your space. I didn't do it for Heather. She goes, no, you because you went back. That she went back to, to Colleen and Jay's announcements and then Heather and then went all the way back, which would be like five years for for, get a, get for uh, Zach to realize that I didn't give them all space. So anyway, it's a lot. That's just that's just my youngest. Yeah, that's that's what how she it is. goes. But that's our news. And I, we're like so we're, we're very excited. excited. We'll keep It'll you be up. We'll keep sept you updated. September 11th, and that's when it's due. I'm hoping for another boy, um, but you're hoping for the girls to shield hustle. Just so, just so I can sit back 13 years from now, get some popcorn, and just watch the fun. Oh, it is. Just, it's a lot of fun. No, watch the fun of her. Just go. Like, I will be a lot of fun. is driving me crazy. Yes. But we're, and then we'll last And then you know what she'll say? I was never like this. No, no, no. She knows. Like about three years ago, we went to, uh, her husband is in the Air Force Reserves. Um, and he graduated. Oh, in San Antonio. San Antonio. San Antonio. And um, anyway, it we was. We saw the Alamo. It, it was, oh, it's not worth it. Don't go. Anyway, so that day, I remember her telling me. That, you know, to, just apologizing to how her she was as a as a young, young child, teenager, young adult, <laughs> and, then really and you know how you. how um, how uh, difficult, she was. difficult she was, how ungrateful she was, and what a brat. And I said, ah, I appreciate you telling me that. I'm glad you realized it, but I knew you were in there. She goes, I don't know how you put it with me. So I knew you were in there. I knew what I mean is I knew the child I raised. Or we raised. I don't know why I'm saying I. Well, she had a lot of bullying in school. She had a lot like of bullying so and had a lot that we of, didn't know about. It. Right, we didn't realize till later because she's very tiny. Was very tiny, or still is. She's like five one and some change, um, and she um, had, has a lot of anxieties and has really worked through all of that and has really come out on the other side and has done you know gone to college, graduated, picked a great man, they own a home. Um, she's a, a you know a nurse's aide. She even last time she went to college for it, but she went back to school to do that. She wanted to be a nurse, but who knows if she's still going to do that. And um, just a great, wonderful kid. But all our kids are good. You know, we got our son who's a phenomenal you know father. I mean, I used to tell him to do something when he was like in his early teens, young adult. I used to say, get in trouble because that kid literally. I think the only thing he ever had to do was what our son was school. He was yeah. a, a wonderful young man. I mean, he, still he is to this day. Didn't really like school. Didn't wasn't crazy about school, but oh, smart. 
Um, and, you know, he picked a great wife. They have a wonderful, they have two beautiful children. They have a great life. And then our oldest daughter, you know, um, is just a special ed teacher for middle school. Perfect job for her. If anybody who could have. She has the patience. She has the patience and understanding. And it's just a lot of fun to see both our son and daughters to be parents. And now. And our son, our, both our daughters own houses, like five, six houses apart. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they live on the same which street. Is which is, yeah, I don't know about that. Was a good idea, but anyway, they have on the same street, um, and They're so a little competitive. you know, our kids are um, are, are really a, a, we're very we're very fortunate. Um, at the time I, we were raising them, I don't know if we felt we were fortunate. <laughs> well, I think it's like any, we've talked about before. Any parents, yeah. it's just like they drive you crazy. Yeah, you know, you're tired, and you know you know. There's many times I locked myself in my bathroom, shut the door, and cried a little bit. There was many times I got in the bathroom and said, "Calgon, take me away, <laughs> please." But we've had a lot of good moments. But anyway, um, that's why I think we've enjoyed being a grandparent so much because we don't have to take those responsibilities. Yeah. Uh, we can enjoy And we had our grandson, our oldest grandson, Zachary, this last weekend. It was uh, We had a great time with <laughs> no, him. No rules. No rules. <laughs> GJ but, Papa's up. Uh, he's just, a, just a, another great kid. You know, I, I, I was telling Jay this. I told you this. I go, and I even told Zach this. I go, sometimes I forget you're only four. Yes. Because his vocabulary is... He's, well, Colleen did a great job. Even Jay, they... they they talk to him about everything. Well, both Colleen and Jay are smart. He's smarter than both of them. I think he And they're, yeah. they're in for, they're in for, uh, for trouble. Because yeah. He's, he's, you he's at least two or three steps ahead of you. Yeah, because he's, he's that smart. Yeah. But anyway, enough of the bragging. But that's, that's what we got. Yeah. Another grandkid on yeah, the way. Coming number, in September, four. number four. And then we'll, uh. She's doing that thing where you take the blood trust and you get like, it's called a sneak peek. You pay, it's like a special right now they're offering and you could, it could, it tells you if it's a boy or a girl. Oh, really? And then if they're wrong, you get your money back. I don't know what it's all about, but she's doing that. So they get. So it's I, called a sneak peek. So I could do it. I could take someone's blood and go, hey, it's going to be a boy. And I got a 50 No, chance. I think she got. No, no, no. I think it goes somewhere legitimate. I'm, I'm going to open a stand at the mall and say, hey, you pregnant people. I'll, I'll predict. Ah, you get your money back. And I, you Isn't know, that amazing the stuff that they do now? I can collect it for a month. I'm out of business. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well. Anyway, that's all we. Hey, if you like this show. And next week, we're going to talk about, right? Next week, real quick. Next week, Jack and I on next Monday, February twenty no, no, fifth. No, yeah. Well, we'll we'll tell them we'll tell them the, the announcement on the twenty fifth. We're not gonna say it now. No, they can just find out next next Monday. What's the big deal? We'll just wait on it, and then uh, so anyway. Well, it's not flashing. If, Woo! If you like the if you like this show, <laughs> even though they're down to my belly button. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> if you like the show, pass it on to your friends. Hit the little subscribe button. Little bell indicates will let you know if a new episode's up. Like I said, we got something next Monday, and then. For the month of March, we got something planned. It's probably not about grandparenting; it's just about life in general. And yeah, a couple of things we want to talk about, like what we're doing, some changes we're doing with our diet, and yeah. then some of the stuff that I, you know, that I want to talk about that I got going through. So just kind of just you know hear feedback, what you all think, and yeah, just go for that. It's our crazy life, and that's all we got. But again, subscribe. It it, it helps us, helps everybody, and helps everybody. Yeah, it helps everybody. Okay. <laughs> Tell a friend, and that's that's all we got. All right. Uh, I, oh, guys. and uh, we also you get to, in our comment section is the link to our social, our Instagram, Facebook. And I don't think I'm looking Twitter. at the camera, so if I'm not looking at the camera, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm, anyway, that's it's all in a we different got. spot right now, so I'm not used to it. That's all we got. All right, that's all we got. I'm out of here. Bye. Have a great night, day, week. See ya. Bye. <laughs>